Good day folks, this is Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm. Today I'm talking a little bit about our temporary fencing and what we use for, and the topic is geared reels and poly braid. And uh, you know, I've been doing this a lot of years and we've tried about everything and some worked, some didn't, but today I'm gonna tell you exactly what we're using, what works. Um, it may not be the cheapest on the market, but it's effective it, and it'll, it'll hold up for you. And uh, I like, if I have to spend just a little bit more money to get something good, I'm willing to do that, especially with fencing. You get out there and your wire breaks, your reels hang up, they, they're locking up on you, um, <clears throat> you know, they're breaking. It just makes a long day trying to move your animals and put in wire. So I get this question a lot. People say, well, Greg, I, I bought my Terragate reel, which <clears throat> this reel comes with this. This is a Terragate. This is the way they come, brand new. This is wrapped up. Wrapped up around there. Talks a little bit about it. It's high impact polymer, solid steel crank with nylon bushes. bushes. Uh, used with a carry handle, or you can transport it on a real post. Uh, it's got a protected steel frame crank handle. Uh, unique new streamlined insulating hook with extra catch. And takes up to 1,320 feet. Uh, it's not recommended for putting steel wire on. The steel wire will just eat this up. So you, you got to use you got to use poly. But here's what gets people: it says it takes up to 1,320 feet. Well, it will. But when you put 1,320 feet on here, it's going to be flush all the way across here. Okay, and you're looking at a real nightmare using that reel. So what we started doing. We get a brand new reel uh, we'll leave about this much off just that little bit right there there's about i don't know maybe a hundred feet there may not yeah probably about a hundred that hundred feet keeps you i measured it see i've got i've got about three eighths i've got about three eighths of my spool still showing here on each side if I went ahead and put the rest of that spool on there, I'd be flush. And then this is what happened. Well, let's go ahead and I'll just show you how I wrap it. So I've got my spool. Most of it's already on here, but I run a something where I can put it in a vise. And then I just stand here. You want to go slow. You don't want to go real fast. Like that. Okay. go slow it goes on there tight if you go on go real fast it's going to be on there real loose and then when you go to pull it out to put your uh, fence in it's going to be a wreck so go slow as you're wrapping it up and uh, it just goes on there a lot nicer and i twist my wrist back and forth as i'm rolling it on see how nice and flat that is you want your poly braid on there nice and flat you don't want to have a whole bunch of it over here and not have any over here that's going to be a real nightmare when you go to take it off. I mean, it is a real nightmare. Don't do that. Okay, so I'm done. I'm gonna go ahead and get my trusty nippers. I just reach back here. Cut that off. I did a really bad job of cutting it off, by the way. There we go. I just cut it off. I don't, some people will tie a knot in here on the very end. Well, when you do that, and you're reeling your wire up, and it's coming down across your field, and it's, it's popping through all your step ins out here. That knot is catching on every step in. Don't do that. Just just leave it. Just leave it like that. It's fine. So now I've got it on there. This is a. Uh, this is the. Uh, the uh, Great Judy best way of wrapping it on. So, <laughs> it took me a while to do this, but you you put your locking mechanism down like that. And you always run it up past your hand right here. Okay, your hand holding on to your handle. You come up on top and you wrap it. There's three times. Go under and come back. Now see what I did? That wire is in behind that bolt. That bolt's keeping that on there. So when you set it in the back of your truck, you don't have a, a loose wire flopping around everywhere and your reel is nice and tight. If you don't have that on there like that, when you grab a hold of this, you're going to have wire going everywhere. And it's going to be a mess. 
So always remember, you come up underneath, wrap it around three times, bring it around that wire, and then pull it up behind that bolt head right there. Okay? Terragate, three to one geared ratio reel. From where? Where do you get those? Well, <clears throat> I get mine from uh, Timeless, Timeless Fence. So not only does Timeless sell the best posts in the world, this is the post that we use exclusively. Folks, there is no better post than Timeless. I've used them all. This would be something you would drive in the ground. This is, and I'm talking about a permanent fence. So this would be your perimeter. They're all, the holes are already pre-drilled. Okay? How far apart are those? I don't know. They're probably... Well, on this post, I think there's 14 holes. on it. Th this is just a section of it. Uh, they're three inches. Three inches apart. So you can put your wire right through these holes. There's no drilling. There's no cotter keys to hold the wire on. There's no painting. I mean, this, it's already got the UV protection on there. And they come pretty sharpened. They're already sharpened on the end. So, to me, oh, yeah, and they've got the same as a T-post, a steel T-post, the same uh, pattern. They drive like candy. Um, but you can't pull them out. I mean, you've got to go out and get something like a jack or a front-end motor on a tractor to pull these things out of the ground, which is good. You don't want them coming out of the ground. But they come in several different colors. I think they got a brown and a white and... I'm not sure they may even have a red. But anyway, they're awesome posts. I, I use these exclusively. And uh, the, the, the poly braid we just put on there. Um, this, this is the best poly braid that we found. And uh, it's made by PowerFlex Fence. They call it Super 9 Poly Braid. And it's got nine. It's got nine steel filaments in there. So if you look at the end of that. There's nine of them in there. It's twice as conductive as poly wire, okay? And it's braided. That stuff's braided in there. So when you when you pull it down through your, your post or you're going across a patch and you're, and you're reeling it in and it goes through a briar patch, so what? Then briars are not going to catch that and rip your steel wires out. Poly wire, it will. It'll break your poly wire steel uh, conductors, the next thing you know, you got a cold piece of poly wire. It's not even conducting electricity. Folks, um, we've used this particular one for, we've got reels that, that are in use for 15 years and that are still going strong. I wanted to show you what happens. About the handles. Oh, yeah. So every roll of this, or I'm sorry, every reel that you buy, you get one of these fastened. When you get it, it'll be fastened like that. And uh, what's, these, what's this all about? Well, let's just say this is our reel. And I want to hook onto a barbed that, wire fence. That fence, that gate, the handle. Well, i got to get it tied first. So I'm going to put my, my slip knot on there. This is my pat, patented slip knot. Okay. The reason I do a slip knot is when I get done using this reel, I just pull that. It's the same knot you do to tie your shoes. Don't overcomplicate. It's just that that's the same knot you tie your shoes with. Okay, that's not going to hold. But anyway, let's just say this is a barbed wire fence. You can hook on to any not anything that's conductive with this. It's not going to conduct electricity. And then I can go across my paddock with my reel and hook on to my power feed on the other side of the paddock, and now I'm hot. Okay. And when I get ready to roll it up, first you take this off. <laughs> You don't want to be grabbing a hold of that with the power on. Oops. See how easy that knot came out. So the, we use these a lot. Uh, we use these on stream crossings. And somebody asked the other day, well, Greg, what are you going to use that for? That's my stream crossing. So we'll cut a piece of this poly braid. Uh, and we'll tie one of these on each end. Okay? And we can go from our, our one side of the creek down into the creek and back out. And then we just take this, because it's got a slip knot tied on it, and we can use, let me just tie my slip knot back. Okay, there it is. So, I go down in the creek with my step ends. This is all temporary, folks. This is not permanent fencing. So, the idea of having these little, not little, this has got nine steel, 
nine steel filaments, it's hot. It'll knock you into next week if you touch this. You, you slit, you go down through your creek, you go back, then you just take this and wrap it around. You wrap it around your power source like that. Done. When the cattle move out of that paddock in that creek crossing, or it may just be a, a low ravine or whatever, go out there, unwrap it, wrap the other, now the other end's cold, take this, and we just roll it up in a roll and we set it up in a tree right by that creek crossing where the birds or something can't get a hold of it and run off with it. Next time the cattle come around that rotation, we can grab this. The beautiful thing about this is I'm not burning up a $120 reel and poly braid. Folks, the time you buy your poly braid and your reel, you're going to have about $110, $120 bucks in here. These cost a dollar, okay? And I've already got the poly braid laying around, so just use these for your creek crossings and leave it setting at the creek crossing. Don't put it down in the creek. Don't leave it there. When the cows move out, take it out because the stream will come up and there'll be logs come down through there. You've lost this, you've lost your poly braid, and you've lost your step-in post. They're on your neighbor now. Or the cattle might eat it. Or the cattle might eat it. Always hanging up in a tree. Cattle like chewing on this stuff. I don't know why, but they like chewing on it. And when they chew on it a lot, they ruin it. They just water it. I've found this stuff where it looks like it's a softball. They've rolled it up in a ball the size of a softball. Of course, that whole section is just ruined. So don't ever leave a reel laying on the ground unenergized or the cows can reach it because they will get their tongue on that and they'll start chewing on it. I guess it feels good in their mouth. I don't know. Um, so we, we covered that part. Oh, here's an old reel. So this was probably 20 plus years old. As you can see, it's, it had a hard life at the very end. We had this hanging in a creek going across the creek and the creek came up and my reel was gone everything gone the posts were gone the reel was gone everything was just gone so i started walking down the creek and sure enough i found it and it was hung up in a big brush pile big old log laying on it and it busted this off but folks you'd be surprised i i, I do quite a bit of consulting around the united states and i go in people's farm and i ask them go grab a reel i want to show you something they don't have a working reel on the farm. Not one. They're all busted. And that's because they don't take care of them. Folks, you can't stack stuff on top of this. So if you've got four or five of these in your pickup truck, you can't throw a bunch of stuff in on top of them. It's plastic. It's not steel. And when you break this, you've ruined the reel. If you break that, it's ruined. You just ruined a $60, $65 reel just because you're careless of throwing stuff on it. So don't do that. You can get replaceable guides. These you can buy these that are like eight bucks. With this spool, no, it's it's kind of a tough deal. So don't do that. Don't be stacking stuff on top of that. Um, and with that, I think I'm kind of wrapping up here. Um, poly braid, the the good stuff, the nine. It's called it's called mixed metal. Mixed metal. Don't just call it power flex. I want some poly braid. They sell a lot of different kinds. This is the one you want. Mixed metal. It's going to last you. It's stout. It's conductive. It's visible. And the animals will respect it. And I guess the, the biggest thing that I like about the Terragate, well, lots of things I like about it, but one is, this is an old reel, folks. Look at that. I mean, it's old. And it, it's, it's been beat around. Uh... I've even had to put a washer on here because my handle started coming off. I wore out the handle, but I still used it. Look at this right here. It's still working. We can send people to the moon, but we can't make a latch for a reel. All the, all the other manufacturers, their latches are junk. This one's not. It works. The others, brand new, coming out of the box. You're going across the paddock. This darn thing will fall down because it got a wimpy latch here. And when it falls down, guess what happens? It's on our four-wheeler, on our holder. It goes flying out of the unholder, lands on the ground, breaks the reel. It breaks these. The other thing it might do is it may stay in the holder. It stretch and you don't have time to get stopped. You just put a break in your brand new poly braid. It snapped your poly braid into. All because the stupid latch won't stay up as you're trying to unroll it across the field. So that's that's the, that's one of the major differences of Terragate is 
they've got a good latch. Somebody designed that, did a pretty darn good job of it. So I think that's it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, sign out here. Remember when you uh, leave this video, hit that subscribe button on the way out and that like button. And watch our uh, YouTube, I'm sorry, watch our uh, website. Our grazing school is going to be in September. And it's the second week of September. It's on a Thursday, Friday. It's a two-day. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's the second Thursday, Friday. Yeah. It's a two-day. And it'll be on our website. Just go to the website, greenpasturesfarm.net. Everyone have a great day. We'll see you.